Hello Builders, today we're booking about in the Diesel Punk Wars Kickstarter demo, uh, which gives us an early taste of building, fighting and driving in custom vehicles made out of blocks. Uh, you can turn any vehicle into some kind of road vehicle, um, a boat or even an airship. Probably all three at once, in fact. I'm still... no. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> and so the demo it lets you add random enemies and it has loads of uh, ready-built vehicles to test out. I was just playing the shoe car. Um, we'll focus on just mucking about in this video. We will do a tiny bit of building, just to show off that it's not too technical. Uh, more just bugging stuff together and paying attention to weight, fuel and power. Uh, so the Kickstarter is actually running until late February 2020, um, and thanks to the makers for giving me access to the demo build, uh, which I, can, I believe you can get for basically pledging pretty much any amount for the game. Uh, the full game will have more of, the, well, basically more of everything really, and it's purely single player. But you can, as a spawn enemies to your heart's content. Let's see what this mission is. Place items in area? It was a transport mission. Ooh, don't know what this does. You need to move two boxes and a sphere to the transparent blue zone. You can simply push these vehicles with your vehicle of choice, um, but it might be easy to install harpoons. Ooh, so we've got to get everything in the same place at once. So let's, um, that's not the right vehicle at all there. Let's load up something with a harpoon, perhaps. Or maybe we should build something ourselves. Sea drill. Now that's, that's basically for the, um, for the water. Well, let's try. We're drifting cutie. What we'll do, we'll load this. We may need to add the weapon ourselves. I don't think we've got any harpoonage on there. Right, so we can do a little light building now. Let's get some weapons on the go. Harpoon is... there. Rotate. And let's see how that works. Oh! Ah! Oh! It's on top of me. Oh, I can actually just leave it there now. Let's leave it there. Come here. Okay, let's try and put this on top as well. Oh no, I'm in the water. Piss. Oh! Uh oh. We've got an issue. I mean, what we'll do is what we'll do. Get, th get there. Get in! Little dick splat. Right, where's that? Oh no, it's, 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 it's gone for a swim, hasn't it? It's, it's, it's beyond our ken. I think it might have gone for good. Um, oh, you start. <laughs> yeah, let's have, a, let's have another go at that. All I need to do now is manoeuvre carefully in. So the blocks are inside, ish. Well, there we go. Yes, there we go. That's a very bizarre mission. I was not expecting to be able to do that sort of weird shit. Okay, let's um, let's spawn in an enemy. Death Cloud Three. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, okay, that's um. Unfortunately, we've only got a harpoon on this. Ah! I should probably have um given ourselves a bit of a more of a fighting chance. We have to run away. Where is it? Is it gone? Where's it gone? Is it above us? Has it just buggered off? It just shot at us and then pissed off. Let's change vehicle. Let's actually get into a boat. In fact, what we'll do, hang on. Wait. Let's move. We can go into a teleport circle. And we'll be able to teleport elsewhere. Rum! There we go. Right, so we don't we we actually want a boat. Let's um let's go. There's that death cloud. And that we got attacked by for about two seconds. I'll try the sea drill, because that's a willow. Yeah, it's got propellers on the back, so this should theoretically be um, both land and sea. Let's try it. Here we go. We've got drills on the front. It's going to be a it's going to be a menace, this. It's a bit slow. And also turns like a cow. Come on. Okay, let's spawn in a vehicle. Oh, hello. Oh, is already is it another one of them? Right. Let's get let's get him to completely disable the vehicle. You've got to go for the command block. But you can do things like go for the fuel, which may cause an explosion of some kind. Or you can also zoom in. Yes, I shall do that. This is a bit of a piddly weapon. This we could do better. But although I'm I'm doing quite well here, I'm actually. Walloping its face off. 
I'm not quite sure what his weapon capability is. Uh oh. I think it might be a bomber. So it might actually drop stuff on us if we're not careful. I'm a bit concerned because it's right. Oh, wow. Well, oh, ah! Things are coming off it now. Yes, I think we're I think we've got it. I think it's coming coming down. Still got prepare. Maybe I should try I'm trying to aim for the propeller, but it's it's a bit difficult. It's going a bit fast. Oh! Oh dear, Kitty does in fact have claws! Holy shit, that's actually re really fighting back now. I think it's now it's 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 worked out where we are and what we're doing. And we're slow. <laughs> Look how slow we are. Right, come on, over there. I'm sure it's trying to go over there. Yes, there we go. This is more like it. Maybe it's repaired itself. I know I can repair my vehicle when I'm not under attack. Is it escaping? It might well be escaping. So there are other. I think there are other vehicles. I mean, there's the top hat and the death cloud around somewhere, but I can't remember which one that one is. Oh, flip. Um, has it just? It might. We may have just gone beyond draw distance. So it might like it's still the fire enters, but it seems to have vanished. Unfortunately, oh my god. I think. Let's go on to land. Bit of a cheat. We've teleported away. But yes, it does actually work on land as well, this. Let's, in fact, I'm going to press the repair button. There. Now we are fully repaired. Let's see how it works on land. It is, it is actually very manoeuvrable. Let's try, let's try going into the sky ourselves. We could try the death cloud. Oh, the armoured motorboat. Ooh. Anyway, let's, let us go for the death cloud. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a strong lad. Right, let's see. Go up. So you control the altitude with, like, space and control. And essentially you're telling it what your desired altitude will be. And it'll eventually get to it. Uh oh What's he doing? <laughs> it's... Oh, oh. Very helicoptery. It points. He's got his nose down. Well, let's have a go over there. That's, this is where we were before. I think we managed to go up a bit. Yeah, that's where we sea drilled. Quite a large little area, this. Oh, Gradar. Let's hope he doesn't notice me. Huh? <gasps> You're still going? Hello, lad. It's actually... Yeah, he did try to attack me, but this time we have the advantage. I think it really is just a bomber. He's actually going higher than we can go. He's staying above us, and probably rightly so. I can see bombs dropping. Oh, wow! I saw the bombs landing, and it killed a tree. Oh, ticks! Oh! Hang on, that's, that's, that's ground. Ground to where shooty shoots. I think the, the, the war people call it. Officially. Uh-oh. 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 We, um, we might be on the way out here, lads. Shit. Yeah, this is not great, this vehicle. I feel a bit, um... Defenceless. I'm, I'm gonna aim for the beach. At least at least let's, um... Try to get... Urgh. Ooh! Right, I, I, I'm allowed to respawn now, because obviously... Um, that's my command cube. That, that has actually been destroyed. Oh, look at the colourful coral source. Oh! Hello. Turn into some nautica all of a sudden. So we're back on this side. We're back on Safety Island. What happens if you just hit the trees? Oh my god. That's less than ideal. So let's try and do the most basic possible vehicle. Uh, we'll add some extra cubes, just so we've actually got something to work with. In fact, let's make it a bit wider. I'm not using very good blocks here. I could use, like, big cubes and stuff to make it real. In fact, let's, let's bung that on. There, it's looking... It's a, it's a bit... It's a bit severe. It's a bit brutalist, this. Super long inverted triangle. I don't know what that's going to be good for. Well, that does something. Oh god, it's not quite... <laughs> this stuff. You get the idea. I mean, let's put on the um, the actual Im other important things. Like wheels. So the front is over here. So let's put a turnable... Let's make it... A s How big are the wheels? Let's have a look. Oh, sorry, that's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. So these need to be... T oh, these that actually needs to be a turnable wheel. Because this is going to be the front. So, go over here. 
I'm, I'm, I'm rotating it using the middle mouse button. Scroll wheel, basically. Rather than the, the R button, which doesn't work that way. We um, can put that there. And that there. That's literally all we need to do for the wheels. And so we need also... We don't need to steer, because that's for underwater. We might I might try to do an underwater thing in a bit, but let's just try and get the, the basics um, done. Uh, small steam engine. I've tried to use a diesel engine before, but it's not necessarily that good there. I'll, put in, I'll actually put two engines on. Really get going. Uh, we need some crew members. And this... The red... The slightly ugly red stuff over there will tell you um, what you actually do need. Crew is just because you need crew. You need people to, to operate. Um, you can check on the left hand side, like, now I've got 12 crew, and we, but we actually need 8, so we, we have got enough. Uh, we'll need a fuel storage thing. We'll put that on top of the crew. What can possibly go wrong? Uh, we haven't probably got enough power, by the looks of it. Uh, there are a couple of other things I need, like a, maybe a funnel up there to cool things down. And a spouting block. Um, a spouting block, I think, is just a badly spelt way of saying... I think you need a viewer, so you can actually see other lads around. There we go. So it's basically a cockpit, sort of. Now, I'm a bit concerned, because I don't think we've got necessarily enough power. But I think we can now drive it. I think. Oh, shit, we landed on some rocks. That might be a problem. Oh, hang on, I'm working my way off it. Oh, it's already beached. But also, we, d we just don't have that much power. It's making some unholy noises. I think for power, I think I might actually need... Another... Not another engine, surely. We've had a little um, small diesel engine. Oh, there we go. That's actually gone up to 225. And power. But we haven't actually necessarily got enough fuel now. But let's have a go. I think... Um, the lack of fuel will just make it slightly less efficient. Unfortunately, we're still on these bloody rocks. Well, if you press shift and move, you can actually move the vehicle away from the rocks, so we'll do that. Now let's see if it's roadworthy. It is, but let's not go in the water just yet. Now, haven't actually got any ammos. Um, ammos. I haven't actually got any guns on it, so it does work. But we do need to actually make sure it can actually fire. Uh, we'll go for uh, the most basic one. One of them. There and there. And we do need some ammo storage as well. So this is all adding to the weight and everything, which is a bit of a thing. We also need more crew by the looks of it. Unfortunately, the bigger we get, the bigger the crew we need. Is that... Is that what? Oh, actually, it didn't... Oh, hang on. There's a, sometimes you have to really click to actually get them to get it to select. You can change colour as well. I've just yeah, I haven't really been doing that. But so that's enough crew. We've still haven't got enough fuel. I think f now we have, and that should do it. Let's, let's put an even one on the other side just so we're balancing. That seems to be um, satisfy all the requirements. Let's just double check. I can shoot. Yes, there we go. So it's a bit of a weird double-deck bus type situation, but it seems to be doing that job. Whee! Right, just stop it. We probably now... Um, hang on, just do that. Save it as crappy. That's ours, that is. So we now have a working vehicle. Um, and to make it flow, I, I wasn't very good with this. When I am, um, when I was doing it in the tutorial, there was a, a sort of tutorial, it was a bit rough and ready, but I wasn't very good at this. But it, you can actually put on quite a few things to make it into a boat thing. But I think the basics are: you'll need a turbiney type thing. I think is what they officially call it, a sea propeller. <laughs> um, I think probably put it on the back somewhere. It just needs to be make sure that it ends up in the water, and we also need a steerer. But yeah, I wasn't really doing very well with this last time. Whoa! Oh! Well, <laughs> that's an unusual way of operating. Oh no. <laughs> it's gone rogue. So it might be a bit top heavy. No, it just it just falls over. It's totally unbalanced. I'm not quite sure why, because it's 
Well, let's get rid of that thing on the front. A piece of absolute farcical nonsense. Now we can get it to... Oh, the sea's too bloody choppy. Whoa, bloody hell. <laughs> Whee, it's like breakdancing boat. Whee. Yeah. This does nothing. <laughs> this is terrid. Now, I don't think I ever managed to get into the, uh, the air building part of it. So I don't actually know how to do this, but let's try anyway. Air propeller there. It's a rocket, an afterburner. Ooh, let's try that. Put it up there. Oh, a subfloater. Ooh. Not good for this, but vertical propeller. Oh, yeah, we need one of them. How does this work? Yeah, just have it like free, free floating over there somewhere. That'll that surely should work. Now, what else do you need? A side propeller, spun one there. <laughs> I don't know how this works. I think we might need some gas floaters to give it a bit of buoyancy, a bit of up in the old, uh, the old up in the airage. Yeah, I'll do. There, that looks textbook. That looks like a proper airship. I should probably maybe try a few more of these things. Right. Oh, it's working. Unbelievable, frankly. <laughs> it's... Oh! Uh, uh, yeah. Which way am I going? I'm supposed to be going that way. Now, turning-wise... I think I added something on there to turn it. And also, I'm being now... Oh my god, I'm being absolutely annihilated. I'm probably doing better than this and than I did the other vehicle, though. Are my weapons still working? I think they are. Oh my god, it's everything everywhere. Come on, little struggling machine... Oh, piss. I am but a shell. A hollow shell. So just testing out this thing now. It's like a steam lad. Um, all based around steam engines, I think. I've already just demolished a tree. Oh, it's got the little sort of like um, ploughing elements on the front that I tried to put on that crappy thing. You know, it's actually, this feels quite good to drive, quite meaty. I'm going to add an enemy because I think we, are, we should probably do some good. Oh wow, that's some... Oh, it has, it has some drift. Wow, it has some serious hovercraft feel to it, this. Uh oh Hello, where did you come from? There are enemies everywhere all of a sudden. Oh no. Well, I was going to spawn them in anyway, so... Let's give it a go. This tonk here, just give it... Oh no! Right. There. Oh, I, d I respawned on top of the other car. <laughs> Right, let's get you. Try and go for the weapons, maybe. I'm, I'm shunting it somewhat. It's weapon to weapon. Tip to tip. It's not really helping, is it? Oh, wow. Yeah, there we go. Now what are you going to do, mate? Got you and all. Unfortunately, I've been blasted from behind. Let's try and go around it. You need to escape. There's something behind us. Oh, that's still theoretically going a little bit. Oh, it's, it's just literally just bouncing off. We've got some good defence, by the looks of it. Oh! It's very floaty. I wonder what it's made out of. I don't think this, I don't think this can actually... Oh. It can't. Quick change of vehicle later. We have a sea monster! Give this one a go. When is she... Achievement unlocked? <laughs> Fair enough. Well, it's slow. I think it's armed to the teeth. Wow. Okay. Now we need some enemies. Um, not that many. Oh, they're all on land. Oh, I think, I think it's just... I think it's uh, the same as me. Unfortunately, it's on land, so it can't really do much. Well, the final game will have things like, you know, proper campaigns and all that sort of stuff. There we go. Absolutely annihilated them. Now I can just go for a bit of a... Oh, oh shit. Something's still firing at us. I think there's another... There's actually another one there. 
Luckily, my um, some of my guns are firing automatically now, which is handy. Some bits of rogue blocks flapping about the place over there. Let's come round for another pass. Where's he gone? I think it's, I think he's run away. Rightly so. Come back, you cowards! And so if you do enjoy this video, um, I do recommend checking out my videos on Mechanic Miner, uh, which is a 2D take on vehicle engineering like this, uh, with hints of RPG, almost Terraria-like in a weird sort of way. And this all seems like a lot of fun as well, as I say, if you pledge to the Kickstarter, you can get a key for this Steam demo, uh, and don't know when the final thing is um, planned to come out, but it all feels rather cool and sandboxy and lovely. So thanks for watching, do check out the rest of my videos, um, subscribe to the channel, um, check out my Patreon if you want to support us on a monthly basis, or buy me a coffee for a one-off donation, all very gratefully received, and helps us track down more of the best indie games out there. Uh, bye for now.